Hi guys, I'm Jor. My artist name is Jorgelet and today I want to show you how to make a feedback synth patch in Massive. Um, it sounds like this. And maybe it's not the most interesting sound in the world, but um, the way to get it is kind of interesting and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it because I used no oscillators at all here well I did use the noise oscillator but the rest of the sound is just uh, feedback feedback from the filters um, if you're if you're not quite sure how filters work with the resonance you can you can create a bump at the cutoff frequency so if you have set the resonance very high in some filters you can create a continuous tone which you can then filter or modulate to make a new melody so um, to demonstrate this in a more simple way let's open up a new massive um, and you do need you do need a starting sound a sound to start to start the feedback to input the filter so I'll just use a square here. Sounds like this. I'll send it uh, to filter one. And then not all filters in Massive uh, can do the feedback because it's originally, um, it comes from the hardware domain and the old analog synths. But the depth filter in uh, Massive does have this function. So I'll send this sound to, through the depth filter. And then I'll lower the cutoff and I'll uh, raise the resonance. And now it's feedbacking. So now I can turn the oscillator off. And you can still hear the feedback. So you need an input sound. But then after that you have the you have your feedback loop. So what I can do is I'll put in for example Change this to a uh, performer, uh, sync it, and then I'll put that on the amp of oscillator one. So now I only got my, my input source very short here and the rest of it is feedback. And then you can filter that feedback with uh, LFO for example. So that's pretty cool and you can you can make some weird sounds with it and, and original sounds because not everyone is using this. So in my patch what I did um let's see I'll I'll try to go over everything. What I did is I turn on the modulation oscillator minus twelve um filter fm on oscillator one and put a performer seven on that and you can see where i put it then the noise is going to be my trigger so also performer seven is on that and envelope two is doing the side chain and uh, so just to copy all this down uh stepper eight on the feedback um, the delay and the filter here are controlled by macros. I'll show you that in a minute. Then set this to serial, put performer 5 on it all the way down. And the first one is going to be a depth filter, which is important because this is, this is the one that gives feedback. Um, filter 2, high pass, performer 6, and macro 8 on it just copy all these settings because I, I don't have time to go over everything but I'll show you every window so maybe you can pause the video envelope 1 is not used I think envelope 2 is on the on the noise sidechain box I'll make it look like this envelope 3 is not used envelope 4 um, level all the way up then performer 5 I made it look like this and I think this one is just on the filter to how do you call it? the serial 
serial parallel mix um, with the X fade all the way up. Form is six. This is the one that makes the rhythm because it's on the cutoff. So this is gonna create your your rhythm and tones, and you can you can create any kind of rhythm or melody that you want here. Um, Performer 7 is on the modulation oscillator. This is also just for rhythm. It, so you, it doesn't matter what you what you um, make here. And then stepper 8 is doing, oh that's doing the feedback. And so not the filter feedback but just the feedback in Massive itself. Alright, that's that. Then the routing, what did I do? The, the, the regular feedback is after filter 2, it goes back through insert 1, which is a delay, and then back. Um, and then delay, make it look like this, and the reverb, make it look like this. So now what's happening is uh, I got my noise oscillator that's uh, being triggered by performer 7. And it's going through the depth filter and then it's going through the high pass filter. And there you can see the rhythm. So actually it's it's pretty basic and um, I did some a few other stuff just to just to make it a little bit more uh, cooler but the the basic is just one a trigger that you can it can be very short it doesn't matter because after that the filter is going to feedback by itself and then the tone that is generated by the feedback or that is the feedback you can filter that with another filter or just with the cutoff frequency of that filter that's the basics and what i did is um well for example i got my macro here for the filter mix not doing very much I got my delay macro which is here on FX1 then I got my filter mix Four is on the uh, reverb, which is always a cool trick um, to modulate the size or the dry wet of the reverb. You get this kind of swoosh uh, effect. I think this is more clear. Cool trick. Five. Uh, it says delay. Oh, it's on the insert delay. Not so important. Six is on the modulation oscillator, so it's controlling uh, performance seven, which is controlling the um, filter FM. Seven is just on a low pass, so that's on low pass uh, on the into two. And then I got 8, which is controlling the resonance of high pass 4. And that's the basics. And uh, let's see if I did some other stuff. Voicing Unisono 2, polyphon. Um, trigger always, pitch cutoff. Uh, nope, not used. Pen position all the way to the left. Um, and that's it. Oh wait, EQ. Yeah, it's not not really important. So um, I hope you have fun with that idea and and um, try to to come up with your own with your own um, new sounds because you can wake you can make a way cooler sounds than I did with this function. And you can use uh, external filters to filter the, the feedback more, and you can make you can really make melodies by controlling the cutoff with a stepper, for example. So um, have fun! Thanks. Bye.